All right, so what's going on guys? My name is Chopper and welcome back everybody to a brand new video. Thank you so much for coming out today. What we've got going on is the 10 biggest things or mechanics in PUBG that need to either be fixed or changed soon. This is basically going to be a list of things that I would like to see improved in the game or fixed in some way and it would be especially amazing if these were implemented in before the release of the wind trap so that goes down as smoothly as possible. And as always, of course before we start, if you don't mind sparing a second to leave a like rating, it does help out the channel a ton. Make sure to subscribe if you are new to the channel so you don't don't miss any PUBG content that we've got going on here. There's going to be some major quality upgrades as well as some new content for this game coming soon. So big things are on the way. Now, if you could change one thing about PUBG, what would it be? It might be something on this list or something that I didn't even mention. And if that's the case, make sure to let me know down in the comments. This is going to be the best time to suggest things that they could do differently in this game. If you had one option to change something about it, regardless of however you like to play or what platform you play in the game, what would that thing be? Make sure to let me know. But with that out of the way, let's get into this list of 10 things that do need to be fixed in PUBG. Take your number 10 spot for today is going to be a slight rework to the armor system. I would say that for the most part, the armor system in PUBG is balanced, it makes sense, and players are generally okay with it, but I still think it has a little bit of room for improvement, especially given the fact that now in PUBG, as of recently, we have something called limb penetration, which is if a bullet hits your hand or your arm or anywhere that's not currently on your vest and it goes through, it will actually damage your vest, meaning that you're losing vest a little bit sooner or a little bit easier than otherwise intended to. In my opinion, I think there's a pretty easy compromise or fix for this. Right now in PUBG, level 1 vest is going to have 200 durability. A level 2 is going to give you 220 durability, while level 3 gives you 250. I suggest that these all be bumped up by 10 points. It wouldn't even end up making a difference as far as time to kill in the overall meta of the game. It would just make it so that you lose your vest slightly less easy than you do now. I think that it comes off a bit too much and maybe ever so slightly increase the spawn rates of something like a level 1 and 2 vest maybe. I think helmets, the way they're balanced, are absolutely fine, but when it comes to vest and especially the limb rework because this game was not built and the armor was not designed around having limb penetration so I think that the system should be updated to accommodate that new feature. It's not even really a massive change I'm suggesting. I would just like to see them play around with it maybe on the test server first or something try it out and then see how players like it. If it works great we'll put it into the main game. If not we can scrap it rework it and, and try something else. Now coming in at our number nine spot almost goes hand in hand with the last one we talked about but this is vehicle penetration and you might be a bit confused because you may have heard from PUBG itself that vehicle penetration was going to be added into the game along with the update where the limb one came in and we got the limb penetration just fine but for vehicles it doesn't seem to be in the game at all and apparently this was scrapped a little bit earlier due to unforeseen events that's all we know we don't have any update on when it's going to be in the game and why it got cut maybe they're making sure it's absolutely polished maybe it wasn't working correctly we really don't know but the thing about vehicle penetration is that it's well needed and it's overdue this mechanic is supposed to make it possible for us to deal damage to players if we shoot them through like the door of a car per se. Obviously the damage will be mitigated and reduced a little bit, but you should still be able to hit them. Now that being said, there maybe should be a slight rework to the vehicles as well when this does get added to the game, similar to the last one because then they're essentially just nerfing vehicles for that sake. They could help balance it by making vehicles faster or something like that, but I do believe that when this system is added, it's definitely going to change the game, but it needs to come with its own balancing factor as well or a way to counter this vehicle penetration. Otherwise, it seems like nobody's going to be using these cars anymore. Coming in today at number eight is going to be player animations. Now, for the most part, I think that animations in general could use a little bit of polish, but none needs work more than vehicles. Now, the problem is that vehicles seem to be the most broken and inconsistent way to move around in this game. A player can literally teleport from seat to seat in and out of cars without any sort of animation about where their character is going. They just vanish into whatever particular spot they want to be in. And really skilled players can use this to jump around their vehicle and dodge bullets or make it harder for somebody to track them. And this just feels like a very unfair and weird mechanic. My biggest problem is the inconsistency with it. If there was an animation where you can slide to the next seat and it's like all one fluid motion rather than just vanishing into said seat, I think that would work much better and allow you to track your targets uh, a lot better as well. And of course, getting in and out of vehicles should have their own animations as well. But that's something that I've spoken about previously and we already know that they're working on. So I'm not too concerned about that. Coming in at another seven spot is something that's really not a big deal to me at all, but I figured I'd talk about it anyways and see what you guys think about it. But this is the utility belt. So in PUBG, the utility belt is to give you your initial carrying capacity when you're looting. Now, my only issue with this is that it doesn't make sense to have an external piece of equipment to give you that initial carrying capacity. Just make that your player's default, right? There's no need to have an extra you know, piece of equipment to, to use that. In my opinion, if there was other things you could do with the utility belts, different variants, or some other things that specifically require that belt, then I get it. That should be a thing in the game, but if it's only strictly for carrying,
carrying space, just make that the default. I did think of something interesting to make of the utility belt though. If this update were to happen, if this idea were to come through, basically it goes like this. You would not spawn with a utility belt when you uh, jump into a game, but there are level one, two, and three belts that you can find around the map and you can wear them obviously. And what they're gonna do is increase the raise and drop time of your weapons so that you can switch faster. You can pull out you know, an AR from a sniper a little bit quicker than you would without a belt. It's something that could change the game a bit and uh, I think would be interesting to see. They could test it out and see how players like it. I, I, it would just give some use to this thing that I think that has no place in the game currently, but let me know what you guys think about that idea in the comment section down below. Coming in at number six on this list, guys, is gonna be zone aim distortion, and this is really frustrating. This is referring to the phenomenon when you're aiming at somebody who's inside of the zone and the wall passes you while you're aimed down sights. Keep in mind, in this gameplay, I'm not moving my reticle at all. This is in a stationary position, and as you can see, there's a ton of visual distortion that doesn't let me track my target properly. And this feels unfair because the same does not apply to the other person. If they're going to go with that effect, make the passing of the zone itself a little bit distorting for players even inside. If they're looking at somebody who's outside, the same duration of the effect will last uh, equally for both players, making it a little bit more fair. But this just feels really annoying when you're trying to pick somebody off and the zone just happens to push you at that time. You have no chance of hitting that shot. But getting away from that and coming in at our number five spot is going to be an update to the 15 times scope. Now, I think that it's time. It's been in drops way too long and it's so incredibly rare that this item is pretty much non-existent. Like I literally had people asking me in the comments if this got removed from the game or something because it was a like a mythical item to some people because they had never seen it in game before. And I gotta be honest as well, it's been a, probably maybe a few months for me since I've actually played with it in game. I see it every now and again that from other players when they loot drops, but I've not hit it out of a drop in I don't know how long. And this all kind of comes full circle to a point that I've made in previous videos is that we need more airdrop stuff. It's time to take the old things that we've already played with for a long time out of those drops, make them common spawns or or whatever, and add some new ones to the drops that we can look forward to. And it gives us an incentive to chase those drops because you never know what you're going to get next. Moving along here, coming in at number four is the parachute cutaway system. Now, I think that this is probably one of the most outdated things that are still in PUBG. This mechanic, basically, when you have a bad jump and you land in an awkward position, your parachute gets stuck, not allowing you to reach the ground. You've got to wait a good couple of seconds before it gives you the option to cut away your parachute and fall down to wherever you're standing. Now, this is a problem because it can lead to some really glitchy deaths and in and of itself, the mechanic doesn't work properly. I was going to suggest that they do something along the lines of blackout, where if you have an awkward jump, it's still going to cut away, cut away that parachute and push you to the ground. And in my opinion, even though it might not look right, that still beats being suspended in the air for an indefinite amount of time. Just they're like a sitting duck waiting for somebody to pick you off and have no shot of doing anything. I get that it's supposed to be realistic or whatever. You could definitely get your parachute caught and stuck somewhere and you have to cut yourself free. Like that makes sense to me. But as far as it goes as a interesting and fun game mechanic, that's fair. This is just not it for this game. But getting into our top three, these are the most important ones to me that I would like to see adjusted or fixed. And this is going to be the flinch or otherwise known as the aim punch of this game. Now, you've noticed that when you're fighting in gun battles in this game, whenever you take a shot, your aim gets thrown around. Like if you're aimed down sights and you get hit with a bullet, it's going to throw your aim upwards. And the reason why this is implemented into the game is because they want to punish you for either missing shots or not connecting first. But in my opinion, the way that this is implemented is not very fair and it doesn't feel competitive. My biggest problem is that it's inconsistent and there's no way to counter if you get aim punched your aim can kick up it can kick left a little bit right you never know where it's going to go if your aim would punch in one direction then the best players would know that they can compensate for that and still win a gunfight regardless of being hit and i think that would reward skill players a little bit more than just having this random system of your aim is going to kick in some random direction and congratulations you got to fix it yourself now i don't think there's a one all fix for this it's not easy it's a complicated issue but i think that it, flinch should either be completely reduced or there should be a way to effectively know how you're going to flinch so you can counter it, in my opinion let me know what you guys think about that in the comments as well but flinch is kind of important to me that's one of the biggest things that i'd like to see PUBG improve on but coming in now on our number two spot is going to be environmental bullet penetration so what i'm referring to here is that there should be objects in this game that can be shot through even the most thin objects are like completely invulnerable to bullets. For instance, you should be able to shoot through a shopping cart if somebody's behind that. But in this game, in in all reality in PUBG, 
those are physically incapable of taking damage to bullets, right? They're just rock solid. This is another one of those complex issues that doesn't have an easy solution because if they just added bullet penetration into the game in its current form, it would break a lot of the things that are already set in place. So if we wanted universal bullet penetration that works well and is polished in the game, then it would almost have to be rebuilt from the ground up with that in mind because it wasn't when this game was made. So maybe they'll implement it slowly and uh, they'll do it to see how it works, but we'll see about that. I'm not entirely sure, but it's something that I, I think that should be implemented in the future if they want to keep the game in a more realistic tone. Now, ladies and gentlemen, coming in at our number one spot is going to be Peeker's Advantage. Now, this is something that doesn't just affect PUBG. It's literally every single online first person shooter video game that you play. Basically, Peeker's Advantage is something to where you can see players before they can see you if you peek them. Now, if you want to know exactly how Peeker's Advantage works, it gets really technical and complicated. So there are videos you can go do some research and learn more about it. But that's just if you're interested in, in seeing why that happens. But Peeker's Advantage is a problem in PUBG. And what essentially happens is if you peek somebody and you jump around a corner or if you look at them first around uh, some kind of piece of environment in the game, you're going to see them a few frames before they see you. And while that might not seem like a big deal, it's something that's tangible under the right test. And you can actually see and to play competitive, this is not a fair mechanic at all. But as I said, this is not just a PUBG problem. It's every single video game. Some games have it worse than others. PUBG is pretty good about it. And especially with the recent patches with desync and then everything that they've done to character models has helped out a lot, but it still does exist in its very most basic and minimal form. It's something I would like to see polished as much as possible. I understand that it cannot be taken out completely in the current state of gaming. It's just not humanly possible, but it's something that I'd like to see reduced as much as you can. And I think same goes for all games, not just this, but it's something to look out for, for every single game developer in the future. But anyways, guys, that is going to be the video for today. Thank you so much for watching. These are 10 things that I would love to have changed in PUBG. If any of these things that you agree should be changed, let me know in the comment section down below, or if I failed to uh, mention one, if I missed something, make sure you let me know as well. But anyways, thank you so much for watching and coming out. I appreciate you. Have a great rest of your day. I'm going to have some more kind of uh, quality changes in the next video, as well as a new video format that you guys are going to be seeing in a bit. So hopefully you enjoy it and we'll see where things go from there. But anyways, make sure to drop a like on the video if you enjoyed it, subscribe if you're brand new, and I'll see you all on the next stream or the next video. Have a good one and peace out.